Now the news of the RX 500X series may not have exactly been the happiest news, being, well, rebrands and all that. But it appears that AMD's next generation mainstream Navi GPU will reportedly offer GTX 1080 and RX Vega 64 class performance and replace the company's current RX 580 series class as a mainstream class product in 2019. Navi is Radeon's latest graphics core next based architecture and is expected to be the world's first high performance GPU built on 7 nanometer process technology. Now, little is known about, the, about Navi in the tech sphere to date. One detail that we seldomly see reported is AMD is working on two Navi GPUs. We'll call them, well, Navi 10 and Navi 11 for the time being. One is designed for the desktop market and the other is designed for the mobile market. Now, according to the report from Fudzilla, Navi will not be a large high-end GPU, although the report doesn't specify which Navi GPU it's talking about, we're going to assume that it's the Navi 10 desktop part. The report further states that this Navi part will be a high-performance, low-power part with the performance of today's high-end GPUs and the power of mainstream parts. Now, this does make sense from several perspectives. From a manufacturing point of view, it's not feasible to produce a large GPU on a brand new cutting edge process like 7 nanometer. Early in the node's life cycles, the yields and wafer cost make this prohibitively expensive. Now this is why AMD and Nvidia were only able to introduce the GTX 1080 Ti and Vega in 2017 rather than earlier in 2016. Now it also makes sense from a profitability point of view as mainstream mid-range GPUs far outsell high-end GPUs or by a factor of one to four, which shows how AMD was able to double their market share in 2016 just with mainstream Polaris GPUs alone. Over the past year, we've been hearing whispers about a project at the company to bring horizontal die stacking technology and expertise over from the CPU department to the GPU department. With the intention of making high-end multi-GPU, high-end multi-die GPUs akin to the way Ryzen Threadripper is done, we would have something like a Navi 10 and a Navi 20 with Navi 20 featuring two Navi 10 dies on the same GPU package, which is something I predicted quite a while back if anybody knows me personally. The die stacking program we're told is what the company meant by scalability in its Navi roadmap. More recently, we've been hearing that the future of Navi die stacking project may be uncertain in 2019 as more die stacking engineering effort is poured into AMD's entirely new 2020 post GCN next gen architecture. A design that we're told is as revolutionary in itself as what the Zen architecture was. Now, if the Navi die stacking project has indeed been postponed, then we will see AMD debut both its revolutionary new architecture, the Zen of GPUs, if you will, and the multi-dot GPU stacking technology both in 2020, after Navi. Now this would allow the company to address all of the segments of the market from the entry level all the way to the ultra high-end enthusiast segment, just by employing a single GPU die that can be stacked to meet the needs of every market. We've also recently heard about another GPU project that AMD has started, and one that will have a clear and more immediate impact, but that deserves an article and a video on its own, so stay tuned for that one. So what are your thoughts on Navi being more targeted toward the mainstream, but offering better performance than what we see already? So if we could see uh, GTX 1080 and Vega 64 level performance for around $200 to $250, I don't think anybody would really complain about that. That sounds like a good move, while it does leave the high-end enthusiast looking to AMD's competitors for that fix. So let us know what you have to say about that down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you all in the next video.